In this video, I'm going to show you how to check to see if a test has been deployed and if it has not, how to actually deploy it within your content. So in your course, you're going to go into the course tools underneath the, the course management menu. So I'm going to click on course tools and I'm going to go into test surveys and pools and go into tests. And you can see that this final exam has not been deployed. So underneath the deployed column, it says no. So what I need to do is I need to go into where I want this content to show up within my course. So I'm going to go back in the learning modules. And I don't want to put it in a folder because I want it to show out without having them go into something. So I'm just going to stay in my learning modules content area. And I'm going to click on assessments or go to assessments, click on tests. And that's going to list out any tests that have not been deployed. So I'm going to click on that final exam and hit submit. And then it's going to give me the screen to set up all the um, oh, um, properties for this particular test. I can go in and have it open up in a, in a window. I want to make it available. Okay, I can set the uh, number of attempts if I want to allow more than one. Forced completion will automatically um, submit it for them if you have um, a timing set on it. You can set open and close dates on it. You can set up a password. Uh, you can set it up for specific users if you want to. A due date. I want to include it in my um, column calculations in my grade center. And then you can decide what you want them to see after this test is submitted. Okay. How you want the questions to come out all at once. Randomize them or one at a time. And then you're going to submit. and now you can see the test because I didn't put any date restrictions on it is showing up as available right now. So that's how you go in and deploy a test.